And guys, today we're at Colorido Sports with the president of the Triathlon Association, Christian Curtin. Christian, welcome in Colorido Sports. Thank you for having me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for being here. Yeah, well, we are amazed by this organization and we're amazed by the the whole event that we got here today. We got an international triathlon event here in Curacao at Santa Barbara and you're in charge of this. Tell us a little bit how everything is going today. We actually, everything's going really well. Actually, the CTA is here. Tech, the actual rate, the club here on the island is organizing the event with us, uh, helping them out. Uh, things are going awfully well. We have people from Portugal, from Holland, uh, Venezuela, Aruba comes over every year. And in the next couple years, we're looking to expand that even further. How many times a year do you guys have the triathlon here in Kyoto? Uh, this international triathlon is one time a year. It is in May, uh, normally at the end of May. We do a spring triathlon at Kokomo. We do a fall off-road triathlon at Cocos in Yantil. And then we do one in the, at this, in the winter time. December at Puerto Marine. So okay, and how sprints, they're half the distance of this. Okay. So how long has this been going on in Curacao? Curacao, this started about 2006. Okay. The race has started, yes. And since when are you president of the association? I just was nominated the chairman this year. Okay, so tell us a, a little bit about your run through. It's a short one, but I, I can see that you've done multiple stuff. Tell us a little bit about um, your duties as the president. Well, as the president, uh, we get oversee every, everything with the triathlon as far as setting it up, making sure the logistics are correct, registrations, making sure that you have all your medical teams, your sick tro, your um, Red Cross, that you have all your volunteers in place, that everything, the timing is all set. Uh, there's various other things that I can't get, I don't, I can't draw on at the moment, right? But as you, if you look behind you, a lot of it is right here. Yeah, I can indeed see from the the little time that I'm here that it it contains a lot of prepping yes. before you have the actual event in place. This is true. However, it's not all about me. Even as the president, the president is just a role. Uh, we as a team make the whole thing happen. You know, the the role is just tagged to a person. That it doesn't really. No, no. Obviously, a, all by yourself, it's not it's not possible to do all the same thing, right? The, yeah. You're just a guy in a group that gets the project done. Okay. And tell me a little bit about the sports itself. It's a triathlon. It entails three activities, but I yeah. want to know in depth what it is. Okay. So triathlon, if you don't know, is a three sport sport. It's a swim, then you transition into a bike, and then you transition into a run. Today's event is an Olympic distance, so what you see here today is what they actually do in the Olympic Games. It's a 1500 meter swim, you're on the road, road bike for 40 meters, and then you're into a 10 meter, uh, 10 kilometer, so sorry, 40 kilometer bike, 40, a 10k run. Okay, and those three times together equals your final time. And the usual other triathlons when you have like the spring one that you told me about, what are the distances then? Yeah, so the sprint distances are 750. 20, 20 kilometers and 5k and then you go from Olympic you go to half Ironman which is 1900 meters 90k 21.1k and then full Ironman is 3.8k uh, 180 on the bike and then 42 in the run so when I hear full Ironman that is the highest level that you can reach in triathlon or what how how is it that's that's as far as you can go yeah, yeah. And but then they can go into double Ironman and all that, but the actual triathlete, the high, the peak of our sport is to become an Ironman. Okay, and how do I, so like I've never done triathlon or anything in particular in this type of sport. If I start tomorrow, what is the estimated time that it would take me to be able to reach to the Ironman level? It depends on your skill level and how much time you want to dedicate it. I mean, at the Ironman training, you're looking at maybe up to 16, 17 hours training a week. And that's up six days a week training. Six days a week? Six days a week. That's training, then you have your work, then you have your family and everything else. So it's a very heavy schedule. So starting out from never doing it before to Ironman, it would probably be a good process before you get there. Okay. And, but if I would like to start, how, how do I get in contact with the federation or with the clubs? You can contact us through our website, triathloncuracao.com. Um, we also have Tech uh, Team Endurance Curacao, which has a very nice team program that have very nice uh, swimming facilities for their teammates. Uh, they organize bikes, uh, bikes and runs for their team. Uh, but through the CTA, if you just wanted to race, you could always just call us up and we could pair you up with people that are training every day. Uh, us as triathletes are always on the streets. Yeah. So if you wanted to start and you said, hey, Chris, who can I get in contact with? Hey, come with me. I'm swimming today. Or hey, uh, we're going to go bike tomorrow. Come meet us here at this location. Yeah. 
And if, if we look at the gear that the person would have in order to start being fully engaged with the sport, what do I, what do I need? What kind of clothing do I need? Specific type of uh, sneakers? You'd, it's not a specific type of sneakers. You would need a, a neoprene, not a neoprene suit, but a, like a tri suit or a swimsuit. Uh, you would need goggles, obviously. You need a bike. You need a helmet. You need bike shoes. You'll need running shoes and some sort of uh, protective hat or so to run with. Uh, it's entry level. You're, it's a good start, it's setup, but it's easy to take care of. If you have a bike, you're good to go. But it, it, it is a little bit of an expensive sport, would you say? It's not, I'd say yes. And to start, it's not overly expensive, but you are going to have to invest some money to get started in this sport. And if that, you know, if that becomes an issue, there are ways around that. We, we at the CTA have a program that would help people that are interested in starting the sport. If they wanted to do it and we're saying, hey, listen, it's not in my means to do that right now, then we would help them find a way to do it. Okay, that's very, very nice. Now today at this organization we see that there are also multiple sports entailed, so you can also say that you guys work in cooperation with like um, the athleticism board and some other boards to reach to such an international event also? We are actually right now in dealings with FDOC. Uh, the CTA is looking to become ITU recognized next year, which is the International Triathlon Union. Um, which would make this international event even a larger thing because once we hit the ITU circuit everybody knows that they can come here and race for ITU points. So that's where our goal here. Um, we work with uh, a lot of the various bike groups, a lot of the running groups and a lot of the swimming groups. You see there's a bunch of swim coaches here and we incorporate with them to bring all their guys together. The relay teams is what's really fun because if you're not interested in being a full triathlete, you can say, I want to swim and we'll find you a biker and a runner. Or if you're a biker, vice versa. So we get to move, we get to mix it all up for you. Yeah, because indeed I was seeing, when I was standing on the dock here at Santa Barbara, I was indeed seeing a couple of people who were going to full Monty, but there were another ones who were waiting their turn just for them to swim. So I do not have to do all three things because I like to swim, but really biking is not my thing. I see two people right behind us over here that would probably be really great at the bike and the run. <laughs> yeah. We have Team Colorado right here. Yeah, we got Team Colorado ready to start the triathlon. That is totally awesome. Yeah. But um, I've, I've noticed you're pretty athletic yourself, and as a president, you should have known a little bit more insight about the sports. Tell me about your background in triathlon itself. What have you accomplished? My background, I started in 2009 doing an Olympic like this on a whim. And over my span of things, I've done maybe 10 or 12 Olympic distances. I've done three half Ironman, two full Ironman. And then next 2019, I'll be doing Ironman Boulder. Wow, this is impressive. Three-time Ironman. Three Ironman. And tell me, I mean, we're in Curacao. I'm speaking English from the heart here. But where are you from, actually? I am originally, originally from Hawaii. You're from Hawaii? Oh, my God. Well, I see you have more duties to do. Yes, Thank yes, you so much for the interview. Yes, and good luck with the, in with the, the rest of the competition. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. All right, cheers. Thank you, guys.